there, this is Elena here with The Wounded. It's great to see you again. On this occasion, we're going to tackle a bit of a more technical topic. So if you already run an e-learning platform, you're probably familiar with the terms SCORM and Experience API. SCORM and Experience API are the technical standards that e-learning software products use to help you create content that can be used interchangeably between compliant platforms. They also allow us to track stuff such as pass or fail results, incomplete or incomplete status, grading, who is completing what, and times of completion. This video is for all of you that already have SCORM or Experience API content and want to incorporate it into a LearnDash site. We'll go over the basics of adding the content, tracking it, and grading. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. Before we get into the nitty gritty, let's review the basics. For a long time, SCORM was the standard way to track and record e-learning. It was also the protocol that was used the most to create online course content, making it super easy to publish it to any learning management system of your choice as long as it was SCORM compliant. Hence why many businesses, governments, and organizations used and still use SCORM to create their content. As technology evolved, so did online courses, and so a new protocol emerged. TinCan API, or Experience API, emerged as a response to a need to track more detailed information on online courses compared to what SCORM could offer. So while SCORM mainly helps you track what is happening inside an online course, for example, who is taking it and how they are performing, Experience API allows you to better understand what's happening in the entire learning environment and student behavior. So you can track things like interactive content and adaptive learning content. Bringing this into our present situation, there are many course authoring tools that you can use to create either SCORM or Experience API content and that embedded into your LearnDash course. Some popular course authoring tools that we'll be looking at include Adobe Captivate, Storyline, iSpring, and Rise360. So to get started, I wanna talk a little bit about the tools that you might already be using to create your SCORM or Experience API content, one of them being iSpring Suite. This is a PowerPoint-based course authoring tool that allows you to create slides that you can later export as a SCORM file or Experience API file. But these slides are different because they can include a wide range of interactive elements from clickable video lessons or simulations that include role plays with dialogues where the student can select different answers and go through different scenarios, buttons, uh, pop-up questions and quizzes, there's a wide range to choose from. You also have a text to speech tool with a realistic voices to create voiceover for your slides. And you have the option to use over 52 different languages. So once you have created your content using iSpring, all you have to do is export it as a SCORM or Experience API file. And you can import this file into any SCORM compliant LMS. LearnDash on its own doesn't offer this, but we will go over the, the tools that you can use to import these files into LearnDash in a bit. Another authoring tool that you could be using to do this is Adobe Captivate. Adobe Captivate is a little bit more advanced and it provides you a wide set of features that range from simple slide layouts that are pre-made to entire simulations for your online courses. During simulations, you can create a demo, training, and assessment modules by easily capturing on-screen keyword activities, audio, and mouse movements. This is great for software simulations. You can also overlay slides with interactive elements and clickable elements to boost engagement on your content. Some components that you might want to check out include buttons, input fields where users can respond, check boxes, drop downs. Plus, you can insert quizzes or small knowledge check questions right within your course content. Once you've created your SCORM or X API content in Adobe, iSpring, Rice360, Storyline, any of the options out there, the next step is to integrate that content into LearnDash for tracking learner progress. 
LearnDash doesn't natively support SCORM, as we already mentioned, so here is where the interesting part comes in. Using third-party add-ons like Uncanny Owl's Tin Canny Reporting or Grassblade. In this video, we'll be focusing a little bit more on Tin Canny Reporting just to show you the process of how it would look like. So to get started, the first step is to get the Tin Canny Reporting add-on, install it and configure it on your LearnDash site. All you have to do is upload the plugin, activate it, and make sure that in settings you have the X API and SCORM tracking enabled. Next, you will be able to go to the Manage Content tab right within the settings, and right here you will see a button that allows you to directly upload content created on any of this authoring tools that we have mentioned before, or any SCORM or Experience API content. Once uploaded, you can just assign the content to a specific LearnDash course by selecting it from the drop-down list that you will see on your screen. So next, you will want to assign the content to a specific lesson or topic. So all you have to go is go to the corresponding lesson or to, to the corresponding topic and add the Gutenberg blog, which is the tin, for the Tin Canny content, onto your page. Uh, and right there, you just select the file you've uploaded from your library. You also have the option to upload the file directly right here using this button. And that's it. Your content will be embedded right into the, the LearnDash page of your choice. Each piece of content will also have its own unique content ID, which will allow you to also uh, embed this content using a short code. So you have plenty of options depending on how you want to do this. Once your SCORM or Experience API content is added to LearnDash, the Tin Canny reporting add-on allows you to track all the learner activity progress, completion rates, and any other activities you want to track and translate all of this information into LearnDash. You can track when a learner starts and completes a module, their quiz scores, the time they're spending on the content, etc. The Tin Can reporting add-on can pass this SCORM or Experience API information directly into the LearnDash grading system, which allows you to easily use this content as a part of your current grading structure or integrated with other quizzes within LearnDash. You can even control the mark complete button behavior of LearnDash based on the activity within this unique modules. As we mentioned, another of the options out there is to use Grassblade Experience API Companion, which works perfectly with LearnDash LMS. And this is an example of a LearnDash course where Captivate content, SCORM content has been embedded using the solution. So as you can see, it's just a regular page. And right here we have displaying the the, the content. So you can just start, go through the interactive content right within the same page. You can also launch it in a light box like this, depending on your choice. We're just going through a little demo. So you can track if they completed the content, if they attempted it or, or initiated it, if they answered questions, you can track all of the activity here for reporting. So there you have it. You have a full overview of what it takes to include some SCORM or X API content created with external content authoring tools into your LearnDash site. If you need any help implementing this on your site or doing any customization to your LearnDash courses, please don't hesitate to reach out to our team. Our ninjas have over 10 years of experience building online learning and e-commerce sites and we'd love to lend you a hand. Just click on the link below to contact us and tell us a little bit more about your project. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you enjoy this content, and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Until the next one!